Hey, this is Kevin Johansson. I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida with the Fall Obsession. I wanted to do a quick review on the Viper HD spotting scope. I picked up the 15 to 45 zoom by 65 millimeter objective, uh, the angled version. Didn't go with the 85 because I wanted something a little bit more packable, a little bit lighter. Um, now that I get this thing in my hands, it's still, it's still pretty beefy and pretty hefty. But it seems to be that that's just kind of the way it is with this line, this size of scope. I went with the Viper, which is right in the middle, kind of the middle of the road option for Vortex. They have the Diamondback, which is on the lower tier, and then they also have the Razor, which is a step above this. Um, this just made the most sense for me financially. Uh, I know that you got to spend a lot of money for good optics, but it was just hard to me to hard for me to hit that 800 to 1200 range that you start paying as you go up. So I think this one's going to work out great. Picked it up for 650 from B&H. It came with the Pro GT tripod. And that's uh, Vortex's, basically their top of the line tripod. It also comes with a nice carrying case for the tripod and for the scope. So I want to go ahead and pull it out the box and show you a couple of the features. Alright, so this won't be a true unboxing because I did already pop it open right when I got it. Couldn't resist. Here's the neoprene sleeve that comes with it. It's really nice. Saw some complaints that it was kind of tough to get on. But, uh, I mean, I didn't find it to be difficult. Get that on there in a second. Alright, so, have our eyepiece. Of course, with a lens cap. We have some instruction manuals, some wipes, which is great. Always nice to have. Mounting plate comes with a quick, quick release setup, which is really nice. Loosen here, move the scope around. Nice big, big focus ring, which I really like. I can't stand the ones that have just a little tiny focus ring up here. Fine with this, you really get a lot of fine tuning control. Lens cap. Nice sunshade comes out. Hit this lever, little release right there. Take this protective piece off. And just line these two up. Right there. And it clicks into place. Once it clicks, it's not going anywhere. So nice rubber armor on the outside. I mean it's really stout, good feeling stuff. So again, a little heavy, but it's to be expected. See? Easy. So here's the head of the tripod. Can move in any position you're going to need it to. I'm sure it's a little dark. Sorry about that. I'm losing the sun here at the angle I'm at. This is where you can release the plate that the scope itself sits on. And messing around with it the last couple of days, it's been really easy to get on and off. So I like that a lot. So I wanted to show the different positions that you can angle the legs in. Not that I ever think you'd want to have one of each, but this is one of each. Each leg is in a different position. And if you can, I'm not sure how easy it would be to see, but there's basically a slide over, kind of spring release right there, that you can move it to the side and as you move it over you can expand the legs out, either at a slight angle, a bigger angle, or almost flat. So lot of options for how you set up. Alright so here it is mounted on the tripod we're on my back porch from our porch to the other shoreline across the river there is about 400 yards and at 15 power you know minimum setting we're able to pick off different bird species and the trees over there. Um, really it's so far a little bit of testing that I've gotten to do with it has been great. We had a lot of fog roll in right when it got here so kind of go figure you know we had 24 hours of fog couldn't use it so now is really the first time I get to use it with a good clear day I don't have an eyepiece yet that I can put on the phone you know to show you how good it looks but there's a ton of videos out there that do all that with all these different scopes for the most part I just wanted to um, give you kind of my first impressions as somebody that isn't overly familiar with spotting scopes um, and something that I thought was a pretty heavy investment for future hunting trips so hope you enjoyed it thanks for tuning in